Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, um, maybe I'll link it up or you can just go back to my channel and find it. It's probably like the first video or I guess this would be the first video, so it should be the second video. Um, but I purchased a couple of mystery boxes off of Whatnot from a Daily Refinements page and I paid anywhere between $60 and $80 for these to include shipping and taxes and everything. Each box came with 15 items and then you got to also pick a mystery box when and some boxes have one item some boxes have more items it just depends on what came in that box i already unboxed four of them i purchased eight of them and so we're gonna go ahead and start box five so it's just gonna get started the first item is vince uh let's see can you see that i don't know if you can really see that but it just says vince across the tag it's in black so it's kind of hard to see these are a size 30 and they're just like some wine colored or maroon colored jeans skinny jeans then we have what is this a men's item this is adidas this is a size 2xl this is a good size i feel like this will go pretty well do pretty well for me i like to sell the bigger men's sizes in my experience they have sold for full asking price and I've never had an issue with the buyers. Um, next is J Crew. So there's a ton of, J if you haven't watched the first video, there is a ton of J Crew, a ton of Gap. Um, there's like Massimo, Target brands. Uh, I wanna say that's the only brands that kind of like repeat itself. And then there's like, of course, like the athletic brands like Nike and Adidas um other than that like yeah so but ton of j crew and i'm okay with that j crew factory two dots underneath me factory this is a size small and it's a button front cardigan next is joseph a banks or i always say banks is bank joseph a bank this is a size extra large and it's 100 percent pima cotton and this is a men's crew neck v-neck sweater pullover sweater it's nice i have like one or two items in my closet listed for that by that brand but they're new with tags um we'll see how that does next is ann taylor and this is a very cute cute skirt it's just a pencil skirt i really like this skirt i mean would i wear it probably not i don't really wear skirts or the skirts i do wear are maxi length this feels nice what is this um this is Nike. This is a size large and it's just this very stretchy zip front jacket. This will be mine. So I'm going to put this off to the side. We're going to keep her because I actually just brought it. This is nothing new. I brought another jacket off of whatnot and it was a Levi's pullover um, hoodie. So not the zip front. It said Levi's spell out on the thing. The girl said it was unisex men's size large. So I was like, cool i could fit a men's large so i got it ordered it came in today tried it on it's definitely a woman's large i do not wear a woman's large i wear a woman's 1x or a woman's extra large so it doesn't fit so i just gave it to my husband so i was like a little upset because i wanted a jacket but this one this one will do i mean i wanted like a hoodie type one without the zip front but you know since i'm breastfeeding i guess this will do because i'm gonna need to be able to get in and out of it easily but this feels really nice you guys like it reminds me of my lululemon jacket and how nice it feels so i don't know why i was telling you all that but we're gonna do that we're gonna keep that this is cute this is kendall and kylie so just a little fact um kendall and kylie when it has the plus that's like the higher end kendall and kylie if it has like the ampersign is that what it's called ampersign like the little cursive and that brand is sold at like paxon uh zoomies like them in the mall but with that being said like their stuff doesn't retail for like a ton or resell for like a ton but just so you know like if you do like to pick up Kendo and kylie pick up the one with like the plus sign not the and sign but yeah this is really cute kind of reminds me of like beetlejuice it's just a why am i blanking um striped pencil skirt probably midi it has like this faux leather waistband it's this is actually really cute. Did I say the size? This is a size large. I kind of want to keep this for when I lose weight so I can wear this. And visco and leather. Oh wow, so this is actually real leather. 
Who knew? No. Yeah, so this is uh, real leather. It does feel really nice, but I just thought it was faux leather. Super nice. That's cute. Next is Titahari. And it's a moto style. Is it a moto style? Let me see. Let me put it together. I don't know. It's just a butt front, like, blazer jacket-ish thing going on here. That Ken Okali skirt is really cute, you guys. I keep looking at it. I might just keep it and wait till I lose weight. This is Joe Fresh. I feel like I haven't seen this brand in, like, a really long time. But these are size 10. These are some red colored don't do colored jeans, but red jeans. I want to say they're straight to leg, and these are size 10. This is my bonus item. And then this is loft, size small, and it's a, oh, this is cute. Okay, I like this little, the little sleeve detail going on. This is really cute. We have a men's item. This is Saks Fifth Avenue. And I actually never seen like I know what Saks Fifth Avenue is, but I didn't I, like I never seen um and I don't buy them, I guess I should say. It's just like you know how like Nordstrom has like their own line. Yeah, so this is what it is. Um this is a size, let's say the size. Oh, it's a 16 neck 34-35. I don't know. I'ma just put that size in when it comes up. Next is J. Crew. This is nice. This is really nice. I mean, maybe it's new without tags, but of course I'm not gonna put that. And it's just a little button front embroidered cardigan. This is really cute. Size is this? Size medium. Next are some Abercrombie and Fitch. This is good because uh, Abercrombie is like making a comeback and people are wanting their stuff again. So Abercrombie and Fitch size zero zero R, and this is a it's very skinny dark wash jean. Then we have some Adidas size medium, and they're just some uh, basketball shorts, but. Are these branded? Yeah, they're branded. So F F fifty plus F fifty. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm probably uh not gonna list these. I might if I could fit these, I'd probably just keep them myself because I like to have shorts to sleep in. And then last is um Jackson Hole? No. Mountain khakis. Oh, MK. Yeah, Mountain khakis. So the brand I think is called Mountain khakis. And these are like some heavy duty shorts. Like, yeah, these are definitely for hiking. There is a there is a stain on the back. But these are a size uh 36 by 9, so a 9 inch inseam, but they're size 36 waist. Yeah, these are like these are nice. Bunch of pockets. Bunch of pockets. Heavy duty. Okay, so that's everything. And then I did get the bonus item and they are Miss Me Jeans. Is that gonna focus or what? Yes, Miss Me Jeans, size 30. And then of course the back pocket. I'll show you guys the back pocket. Lots of details here. And these are the signature boot cuts. These are so heavy. Miss Me Jeans are so heavy, you guys. Um, these are, did I say the size? Yeah, size 30, inseam 34. And it looks to be like all of the um, jewels are here and it's in good condition. The buttons are here. The stitching looks good. Yeah, I don't pick this brand up. And the only reason why I don't pick it up is because everywhere I go, they price these at like 30, 40, $50. So of course I'm not gonna pay that much to resell. So I just don't pick them up. Unless I find them at the bins, which I never do, then I don't pick them up. Um, but I know Miss Me and Quick, what's the other brand? That's just like Miss Me, but it's, I don't know. Anyways, I know those jeans do nice. People used to wear these all the time in my school. I never owned a pair. But anyway, so that's, uh, yeah, those are my items. Let's count, see if I got 15. Yes, I got 15 items. At first I thought I got 14, but then I remember I decided to keep an item. So I got four, 15 items plus our bonus item. And let's move on to box two. So the next box is uh, box number six. Yes, number six. So let's open it. 
So this is a bigger box as well. So if it's like the last bigger box, then it probably has like a ton of like sweaters and jackets and stuff in it, which is cool with me. Um, Cause we're coming into that season anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the bonus item that I got, if I see it. Right now, I don't see it on top. So we'll just keep that there. Cause I mean, I got a bonus item with every single box. So hopefully it's in there. Loft is the first brand. These are some khakis, boot cuts. Um, maybe these are like mid-rise. And these are size 10 petite. Then we got, yeah, this box has like a ton of big heavy stuff. That's okay. This is cute. This is Banana Republic. And this is a jumpsuit. Just trying to zip her up so you guys can see. Gotta say the size, size 10. And this is a short sleeve. Oh, I thought this was a jumpsuit. This is a dress, you guys. So it's a short sleeve midi dress, knee length probably. Super cute. It does have like a back slit. This feels really nice. Then we have uh, Lafayette 148, the size extra, extra large, which is a very good size. Here is the tag. And it's just a zip up hoodie. This is a green, like an olive green. And it seems to be in really great condition. The tabs are like really nice. Doing that reminds me of like when I was making um, makeup videos because you have to do that to like blur it out. But this is 100% cashmere. Okay, okay, I see you, I see you. I would say I would keep this, but let's be real. I'm not gonna wear that. I just wanted to keep it because it was cashmere. Next is, this feels like wool, knitted and knotted. And this is a size large. It is a, what is this, is a zipper? Yeah, so it's a sweater, zipper front, and it does feel like wool, so let me just check for you guys. And this is, yes, 100% wool. So far, so good, loving this box. Next are uh, Gap 1969, these are 24 regular, these are straight jeans. Um, this is like my third pair of white jeans that I've gotten. So now I don't think I've ever really listed white jeans because I try not to pick them up because I feel like by the time I get home, they're gonna be like really dirty. Okay, so I'm back. We have a guest. <laughs> Come on, sit down with me. Okay, so we have a guest and she's gonna help me show the items, right? Say hi. Okay, so let's finish showing our friends the items that we got. So far we did uh, one, two, three, four. It hasn't been a long time from them, but it's been a long time for us. We had to take a break and feed the kids. Next we have Loft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Loft, this is a size six and this is the Julie made in Bangladesh. Oh, yeah. These are really nice. Okay, go This is, this has wear on it, but Banana Republic men's button up. This has a lot of wear. It even went through to the front. And this one, I'm just probably gonna donate. You want mommy to read to you? This one is a size 15, 15 and a half. Next we have um, another Prana piece. I love this brand. This is a size large and it is a lightweight long sleeve pullover. Hey mama. <laughs> then we have a Banana Republic Merino wool. This is a size medium and it is a V-neck lightweight pullover sweater. Yeah, there's a lot of sweaters in this box. This one has a pool, a big pool, unless it's supposed to be like that. Oh, nope, it's supposed to be like that. It's a belt loop thing. Another Banana Republic. This is size medium, and this is a full zip jacket, and it has a little belt that goes with it, which is what I thought the pool was, but it was just the belt loop. You guys have seen like a lot of Banana Republic tags. <laughs> this is my girl Eileen. Eileen Fisher, size large. And this is a full zip jacket. It's really nice with like the paneling detail underneath. And then it also has the zipper on the sleeves. I feel like I sold something like this once before, but that's really nice. 
this is a really pretty color these are j crew factory and these are a size four and they're just like i don't know like a dark olive slash maybe a brown slash maybe like with some bronze mixed in i don't know it's a really nice color but they're just some slacks and this is new with tags gap this is an extra large this is really nice really cute um i might keep this for myself for when it gets cooler but we'll see i'll try on and see how i like it Sophie. this is a size small and it's a striped blouse with the back exposed zipper this is pretty Zara basic. I love selling Zara. I love their stuff. It's a floral like bomber jacket with the paneling detail on the side. This is really pretty. And this is a size small. I'm trying to like talk over her, so sorry you guys, but it is what it is. She's gonna stay with me. Next is Bunda and Dodi. This is made in USA. It's a houndstooth jacket. So there's no size on that. So that's gonna be a donate for me. I typically don't deal with items that don't have a size unless it's a common piece or a brand that doesn't typically have sizes. Like for example, Lululemon tanks, usually don't have a size on them because people pull the hang tied out. But with the measurements, you can easily tell what size it is. So yeah, um, I typically don't do items without sizes. Next is a bull head. This is thing, I think it's sold at like PacSun and Zoomies, one of those mall brands, but they're just um, some joggers, khaki joggers, and these are a size extra small. I believe these are men's. Next is Tahari. This is like a, a jacket, collarless blazer type jacket. This is a size. So the size is missing on this as well. Usually I feel like the Tahari tags are like, like a light, um, almost like a see-through tag up at the top. So yeah, I don't know about that size. Those two items without size, it's not too bad considering how many I got. Now, if this was my only box, then yeah, I'd be a little upset. Yeah, yeah. Is Mink Pink. I think I have like one item by Mink Pink listed in my closet, but it's a, is this a mini dress? This has gotta be a, like a tunic top. Maybe like a cover up for a swim piece. And this is a size extra small. You know what? It could be a mini dress since this is extra small. Next is limited. This is extra small and it's this color block polka dot over sleeve or pullover sweater. Next is Zenergy by Chico's. I've actually sold this a lot. I love selling their um, Chico's um, athletic line. Ooh, there we go. So this is a size one, which equates to a 10, 12, I think, maybe like a medium, but it's just this white uh, athletic jacket. It's really nice. All right, next we have Jingo. This is a size 36 and these are some slim stretch denim. I don't think I've heard of this brand. Jingo, I don't. Never heard of this brand, but here's the back tab. Um, these are just like, yeah, some stretch, maybe boot cut, maybe straight leg jeans. I just have to look at them, fold them out. Next is J. Crew. And this is a jacket, a button front, like blazer jacket type thing. This is actually really nice, really pretty. Then we have Athleta. Okay, Athleta, see you. So this is a 36D. I think I want to say this is a swim top. Um, it could be, I guess, a workout top, but I think it's a swim top and it is wired with no padding. And this is a 36D slash double D. This is cute. Then we have Hydraulic. Hydraulic denim. I've seen these a lot, but I don't think I've ever picked up this brand before, but they're like distressed, cropped denim jeans. These are a size 
Yeah, I have no idea what size these are. I'm not really sure where they even put their sizes. So maybe the tag fell off, but so that's what number three without size. Next is Talbot's size eight and it's um, just a blazer. This is cute with some shoulder pads in it. I do like sell Talbot's. Talbot's, it's just a nice, easy brand, flips well. They have some nice basic and some nice like non-basic pieces. Um, there's a lot in this box. I think this might've been two boxes in one because there's a ton in this. Um, next is Hologen. This is a Nordstrom House brand. Doesn't retail for a ton. It looks like a one button blazer. Yep, with some shoulder pads, like a champagne color, champagne blush color. Yeah, I think this is two boxes in one. This is Max Studio and it's just a sleeveless embroidered dress maybe like a line it is lined Ugh. this still has like the goodwill tag on it they were trying to sell it for 8.99 let's see what it is tommy hill figure extra large it's just a plaid button up in like their classic red white and blue colors and then the last, is this the last clothing item? Uh, is Banana Republic. This is new with tags, retail for $65. Oh, it's a size yeah, medium yeah. and it's a pink button up. It does have some wear right here on it though. Next is Charter Club. This is a size 12. Um, did I see a tag on this? I did. So new with tags, A-line midi skirt. So I'm going to count real quick and then we'll be right back. So yes, this was two boxes in one. Um, I actually got 31 items. So if it was two boxes, it should have been 30 items, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bonus items I got that came with this. So technically I'm still only missing oh. one box. Um, hey, mommy. Kisses? <laughs> I still am missing one box. Um, I wouldn't say missing. It still shows that it's like pending. Um, shipment so i'm gonna show you guys what i got as far as bonus items there are lots in here so hang in a lot of them i'm just gonna redonate so the first thing is this triple point hat here oh it goes like this i guess i don't even know like i think this is like the the bill the triple point hat it is extra large and the brand is low alpine then we have this scarf it's called art you athletics this is a donate for me then we have um urban outfitters this was sold at urban outfitters this is new york yankees hat it's like a maroon color so i will list this it's adjustable and it's still new with tags with urban outfitter sign tag and it retail for $29 then I got some gloves these are a donate um these are Swainy and they're like peeling on the that part anyway then uh a daily refinement little board it came with some screws and then um, the last item that I am going to keep is, uh, so all that's going to be donated except for the hat. And then this, I was like, paper, why am I getting paper? But this is called the Fine Art Inject Paper. Uh, but hey. someone actually looked these up while we were doing the live and they've been selling for $50 to $100. So I'm actually going to try to list this on eBay. This must be like a vintage item or something. It is still sealed. So yeah, I'm gonna keep both of these. It's, that's just kind of weird, like not quoting, but yeah. And then the second bonus item I got for like the second part of the box were two bags. This one is Franco Sardo and it's just a pink crossbody bag, but it has a ton, a ton of wear. Even like right here is, um, the seams were coming undone. So this is gonna be a donate for me. And then the second brand, or the second item is uh, Tinganello. I actually don't know what this says or this brand, but I'll look it up. This has like, oh, it's a little bag 
holder thingy. But yeah, it has, this is the bag. I'm not sure about this brand. I never really heard of it. Um, it looks to be in good condition. So if it will get me some money, then I will go ahead and list that. But the Franco Sardo bag, I'm gonna go donate because it does have wear. I still think there's some life left to it, but uh, not something that I would want to resell for myself. And then the rest of those like mm, like bonus items, weird kind of bonus items, donate. So I still have technically one more box. Um, so that was two boxes in one. So I showed three boxes so far, but I do still have one more box to unbox for you. However, right now, as I'm filming, filming this, this box is not here. So once I get here, I will unbox that one for you guys. I mean, obviously I'm probably gonna be in different clothes, but whatever. All right, so I'm back. I have the last box. It's been a couple of days. But um, since I bought them, it's take, it took about a week for this last box to come for some reason. But the rest of them were sent um, a few days after. So I will continue to do what I've done as far as showing you the bonus items last. And then I will show you everything else first. So the first item is Boss by Hugo Boss. And this is a men's button up. It doesn't look like there's any damage on it, but you know, I'll look at everything after. Then we have uh, Ted Baker London. This is another men's item. It is not new with tags, this is just some other tag, but it's a purple striped button up. It doesn't look purple on the screen, but it is. And I also didn't show you guys this first item. This is just a, a button up. This was the first shirt I showed you, Boss Hugo Boss, men's button up. Then we have another men's item. I think there's a lot of men's items in this box. So this is Tommy Hilfiger. We have seen this brand and the other boxes is a plaid button up. And then next is a, another men's button up. This is Banana Republic. So we've definitely gotten a lot of Banana Republic in these boxes. And this is a checked, it's like pinkish, purplish button up. So a lot of buttons ups. This one still has a good little tag on it. They wanted $9.99 for it. Next is, I'm seeing some women's items now, finally. But this is a men's item, Banana Republic size large, and it is yet another button up blue with some brown in it and then on to women's i'm hoping the rest is women's but we'll see this is hollister and there's like some little cut off shorts they're shites and these are a size 25 definitely need to get these listed um like right now then we have what is this looks like a cardigan it is ann taylor extra large cardigan it is button front it has like some striped lace detail going on there then we have a jacket this looks cute the brand is nikita nikita clothing.com so nikita i mean i heard of like nikita dragon but i don't know if that's that but it's just a camo bomber jacket i'll have to look this brand up so I'm not sure about this brand and the cops and everything. And this is a size medium. Then we have, what is this? What is this? Chico's collection. I do like selling Chico's. It sells pretty well for me on eBay. This is a size one, which is probably a size large. And it's just a stripe like jacket covering cardigan type thing, but it is sheer. As you guys can see my head in the back there. Then we have uh, Under Armour, but the size I think is off. Yeah, so this is Under Armour. There's no um, tag on it, but there it's just a Under Armour short sleeve graphic or a short sleeve running tee. It does have like this tag right here, but it's just a style tag. The actual like brand tag and size tag is gone. We have another men's item, I think. Yep, this is Nordstrom Men's Shop, size extra, extra large, regular fits, Nordstrom. And I like the colors of this one. 
It's gray, dark gray, blue, purple, white, button up. Then we have uh, Old Navy Sweetheart jeans. These look uh, kind of worn, but these are a size 14 regular. And they're just like dark gray, straight leg jeans. Then we have um, Port Authority size large and it is Sierra Nevada like um, logo here. So I'm probably just gonna donate donating this. And then the last item is J Crew. This is an older J Crew tag. This is their green tag. J Crew size six. It is a wool silk skirt. It's really pretty. I'll show you guys close up of the detail here. Super pretty. I really like this. And then I did have three bonus items. So the first one. Okay, so I did get three bonus items. Um, the first bonus item is, you guys have already seen this, is a Brooklyn hat. Um, this is like a hat beanie thing in it. I'm going to donate this one, just like I did the other one. This one doesn't have tags like the other one. And then the second item that I got in the box was this Led Zeppelin vintage tee. I think they said it was vintage. Might not be vintage. I don't know, but Led Zeppelin, it says... First North American Tour, 1969, and it's just on a Hanes heavyweight tee. I don't think it is vintage. And this is a size medium. And then the last item I got, um, I actually won it, so he was putting money into the boxes towards the end, and just to encourage people to, you know, buy and all that stuff. So I did win the $100. So that's the last item I got and that's everything. So let's count to make sure we got the 15 items. I only got 14 items in this box, but that's okay because in one of my other boxes I did end up getting 16 items. So let's just call it even. And then I got my bonus items as well. Unless this was like number 15 because I can't quite remember like what I picked, but for some reason I don't remember this shirt, but uh, Maybe I did get it. I know I did get, I did pick a graphic tee, but anyways, yeah. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed these two videos that I made unboxing these items. Just to recap, I did get these items off of Whatnot from Daily Refinement. He does um, like mystery boxes, showing bulk boxes all the time. So just head on there and see if you can get anything. I do think this is a good idea for someone who doesn't have access to a lot of inventory or maybe the thrift prices are too high. I ended up paying, I think it was $4.40 per item. So yeah, it could be a little high for some people, but that's for me, this is great, I like this. Um, if I calculate it wrong, it'll be on the screen right here. But hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Thanks for watching, bye.